Now, in order to demonstrate gradients, we're going to add a flat plane here and then add a bluish gradient that goes across it. So I'll pause so we can actually work in this space. And in the glasses, we want to add a plane. And adding it as a child of this model, make sure it just fits right in line. And it should be oriented to the model. So it looks like it's flat to the surface, which is what we want. So I'll just pull it forward a bit. And then kind of rough it in place. And the jitteriness of the viewport from it constantly tracking the face makes it really hard to line this up. So I'm just going to leave it here. This is more just to demonstrate how to make a gradient. So we'll keep it at that. So let's add a new material. Call this matte gradient. And we can make it flat. And we want to adjust this texture in the patch editor. So click that. That'll make this patch. And now let's create a gradient. So creating a straight gradient and applying that to the texture works automatically. It goes from kind of black to white in all of the channels. So you can see the color values are white over here and it's also opaque. And then over here, I believe it's black, which makes it transparent, but also it gets darker in that corner or on this whole edge. But obviously you want to do more than just a straight black and white gradient. So we need to add a few more patches. One good way of doing this is just adding a mix patch and then using the gradient as an alpha. And then changing this to color. You can do just two colors that have full alpha. So there's no transparency, but you can see the gradient in action. And then if you want this yellow to fade out, you can just take this alpha channel and change it to zero. Now you can see the color is changing as it fades out. And if you don't want that to be yellow, you can just change this all the way to gray or just keep it blue. So this is a solid color all the way through. And that's pretty much it. You can also turn down the opacity of the blue so it's not as stark. So it starts somewhat faded and then goes all the way out. And if you want more control with your gradient, you can add a gradient step. And this is similar to what the mix patch is doing, but it just gives you a few more options. So we want to output the output here and not the gradient. And you can see that goes from black to white, just like what the gradient's doing. But here you can change what each of these colors are. So if you change that to blue, this previous step is on the left side and the new color is on the right. And what's neat about this is you can change the range. So if you click these up by increments of 0.1, you can see it's shifting this gradient. And you can do the same on each side. So you can sharpen that edge if these two are the same. And you can also flip the colors if these two numbers overlap. And of course, you can change the opacity of these as well. And so you can control that fade out while also controlling the colors. So if you need just a simple gradient, this mix patch is fine. But if you want a little bit more control, the gradient step is great. And the gradient also has a few different options. You have horizontal, vertical, and circular. So you can do a lot with just a few simple gradients put together.